Hi there guys, it's Justin here again. In today's video, I'm going to be having a look at the optimization of Uncharted Legacy of Thieves. Um, and then just offering two solutions that you can use to mitigate the stuttering. And then just cap the FPS to give you much smoother gameplay. So, um, I use a laptop with a GTX 1650 mobile and a quad core CPU. And there are times when this, that little quad core really does struggle. But, in saying that, I think they did a really amazing job, um, you know, improving the graphics from the PS4 to the PS5, and then obviously um, porting it from the PS5 to the, the PC, it really does look very impressive. Um, only thing is, Nathan is an athletic guy, but he is so, his movement is very sluggish. He runs a little bit too slow, he jumps a little bit slow. But other than that, I freaking love this game. It's like it's like almost like Indiana Jones mixed with Tomb Raider, uh, with a whole bunch of like snarky comments. I like that. But anyways, so I think at this point in the video, I'll just go over my settings. Uh, you'll see, okay, yeah, you'll see uh, options. So now I've got a 4 gig card, the GTX 1650 mobile. So I, if I put my textures over medium, I run out of VRAM. And then everything else is a mixture of high and, and, uh, and ultra, for, especially for anisotropic filtering and uh, ambient occlusion. But one thing I have noticed is whenever you, so if you look at this house, to, to break into the house, you have to climb over the hill over the, or climb down the hill. So now whenever you're in very vegetated areas, as well as climbing uh, mountainous regions, um, there are quite a, there's quite a dip in uh, FPS. So there's quite a drop in performance. That is due to this game being very CPU heavy. Um, so if you don't have a strong CPU, there is gonna be a couple of lags here and there. And quite honestly, I think that is due to the fact that Uncharted, that obviously they released Uncharted re, uh, or the the, um, the remake of Uncharted to PS5 in January of 2022, and then the PC port was slated for for May. It got delayed until June, and then they pushed it out until October. And I think they just got to a point where it's like. Look, we struggle with the optimization, but we'll address it some somewhere in the future via patch. In saying that, it is a freaking phenomenal game. Uh, and let's just be honest, a GTX 1650 mobile, you can still get 60 FPS in medium to higher settings in most games. But I think the real problem, if like myself, you're playing on a quad core PC is especially uh, the next gen games that are coming out at the moment they really are starting to expose the shortcomings of quad core pcs but let me get to those two settings that can help you optimize uncharted a little bit better all right so i did a previous video showing you how to use one error tweaker and then you unlock the ability to run any program in whatever priority you choose um, you know, be it medium or normal, above normal, high or real time. So, what you do is once you've unlocked that ability, and I'll link a video to an error tweaker how to do this at the end of this video. But what you do then is you find where your game executable is. Um, okay, so then you find your executable and you right click on that, and you see it says run with priority. Now, I find if you run with high, if you run with high and also real time, um, it actually does mitigate some of that, that stuttering and the lag in the game. It's not going to take it away completely, I'll be honest. Um, like I said, this game does need some optimization, um, but it will make the experience a lot smoother. So, what I found is first and foremost, let's just be honest, it's a freaking gorgeous game. Like, um, I really think when they did the, the, um, the port to the PS5, they really improved the game after the visuals. The port to the PC, really, it looks so good. But, like I said, it's not optimized well. So wherever you're uh, climbing a mountain, 
or going down a mountain or you're in a very um, shrubbery and bush intensive area uh, like a, a scene in nature or whatever you'll notice that there's going to be FPS drops so this is just going to make that a little bit smoother you'll gain a couple, uh, one or two FPS here or there it's not going to take away that stuttering but it is going to make the gameplay smoother another thing that you can do is so now obviously once you install MSR Afterburner part pass of MSR Afterburner is River Tuna Statistics so then what you do is you can add, cap the FPS because then you're not, you, you're not going to get 70 FPS and then all of a sudden it drops to 20 or 30 or 40 or whatever the case may be so you cap it to not not where your your highest FPS is you cap it to just above what your average FPS is so then it's always going to run just a little bit above your average FPS and then when the FPS drops it's not going to be significant so that gives the illusion of smoother gameplay so what I find is my average FPS uh, with the settings that I have at anyway between 50 and 60 so I capped it to 62 in fact I think I should cap it to 58 so I'm going to cap it to 58 over here and then what's going to happen now is when I play the game my FPS at any given point is not going to go above 58 what that does is it prevents the when it when there is an FPS drop so it drops to 50 or 45 it's less pronounced than a drop from 70 FPS to 40 if you follow what I'm saying so those are the two things that I, I think at the moment can help you optimize the game nicely obviously run with priority in the context menu and then just capping the, the FPS in fact I think I won't be badly served if I cap the FPS to 55 so now whenever I start the game it's not going to be above 55 but the frame drops aren't going to be that bad and just makes it a little bit nicer um, one thing I think that's really cool from the developers of Uncharted is that you'll notice all the mercenaries and even Nadine who I thought I wasn't going to like but she's quite sexy um, they all have South African accents which is two great big thumbs up but at the same time the developers I assume they're American what are they trying to say they're trying to say South Africans are bastards they're not wrong anyways guys thanks for watching have a good day I am gonna do a little video later on um, like the different settings and how it affects FPS but for the meantime have a good day. Enjoy your Saturday. It's people like you. Cheers.